Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Anthony and Matt sitting here with you Sunday evening. What's the date, Maddie? 21st. Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. April 21st. Dropping a little fishing report for Northern California, kind of what we've been up to the last week. Um, I think majority of us have been on the lower sack. Lower sack, yeah, all week. I think um, all week, yeah. That's where we've been, yeah. Um, how's fishing been? Fishing's been about as good, um, I think, as it could be. Yeah, uh, pretty good. Finally, got the sun to come out and play with us, and the river is down. It's been dropping. We started getting back at it when it dropped down to thirty thousand CFS, and it's been dropping daily every day um so fish are in a few different spots every day but the fishing has been it's fun for us because we're yeah, it's, it's almost, almost like, like a different river every day different river every day the fishing's been excellent yeah. regardless you're finding them in new water right. pretty much every day so to say they're in certain spots you know they're right. they're moving quite a bit every day with the flows receding i think what are what is it today down at 11 I think today's 000? around 12 yeah 11 or twelve thousand, and i think their goal is to get it down to about five thousand by end, end of the week, week or so because yeah. they got to do a little bit of work up there at market street yep and i would imagine once they're done with that it's going to come back up I yeah, it'll come back up to probably ten. Yeah, I don't know exactly what the number will be. We we won't know, but it'll it'll come back up. But regardless, regardless, of that, the flows have been you know yeah. slowly dropping. Regardless of what the flows are, um, the fishing's been excellent. Our it's dudes been have good. been having it's been, really really yeah, good days. You get out there. Lots of opportunities. Um, lots a lot of, of high fives. A lot, lot of smiling. high fives. The fish are getting they're getting hot. You know they're starting to get the, yeah. They're getting a lot of fish more. are coming off the spawn. Right. So they're they're chowing, getting revved up for summer season. Still not super buggy with all the flow fluctuations. We're not seeing a ton. I kind of thought no, we'd see a few more. The end of last week didn't really materialize. Um, yeah. So still a lot of just attractor patterns. General and, stuff. Yeah. Yep. General stuff. Stone fl- general stoneflies are eating good. They're eating eggs in places. Um, they're eating general mayfly attractors. Yeah. Not super specific with the bugs yet. Right. Kind of um, some bigger stuff. Honestly, more than more, nice. the most important thing I feel like is just putting it in the right spot. That's it. If you get it Find in the right the spot and, and you get that jadicator stand up straight, it's going to go down. You're going to get bit. That's they've it. been they've been eating really good. Our, we've been stoked. Super yeah. happy. Shorts flip flops for the last. Right. Eight or nine days. Um, yeah, it, it rained a little yesterday, but it was still 75 degrees. Um, yeah. But mostly it's been sunny and awesome. It's it's my favorite time to be out there, that's for sure. Fishing's been um, excellent. Looks like the week coming up, we've got 80 degree weather coming yeah. up and this is some 70 degree days. So again, that's going to continue really good weather. Um, the fishing should should stay just as good. You know, yeah. we're expecting to stay just as good. Yeah, looking forward to next week. Absolutely. Um, the upper sack's been really good as well. So we had a few guys out on the upper sack earlier this last week here, a few days ago, um, they found great fishing again, kind of yeah. like we had about a week, week and a half ago. The river, the upper sack's around 3,500. Um, it's a little big, so you don't want to just go out there, ho-hum, and, and pitch it in. You want to be careful where you're going, where you're wading. It's, it's high, but there's some really good fishing to be yeah. had, some really quality fish. Don't be afraid to fish in close before you start wading into it. A lot yep. of those fish will probably be tucked in pretty tight to the bank. Great so. scenario to get out there with the long rod and yeah. do some tight lining. Some Euro-style nymphing has been has been the ticket in, in those big flows and on the edges. Um, you're gonna find some of those bigger fish pushed up on the soft stuff on the inside edges and stuff. So really effective way to get them. It's been, I know the guys had a couple really good days yeah, last week down absolutely. there. Absolutely. So that, that's gonna continue to be good, option. slowly dropping. Great option if you don't mm-hmm. wanna float. And then um, another week in the Club McLeod and yeah, Hat Creek. And, we're a, and Fall yeah, River, we're a week, week away, away from, from the opener. opener. Yeah. So yeah, we'll get back to the McLeod, Hat Creek, Fall River. Um, dry fly season is, is creeping in really quick. The next few weeks, we're going to get a lot of bugs. We shit, we had a few salmon flies flying yeah. around the boats on the lower sack yesterday. Yeah, it's it's a good time of year. I mean, we've got <clears throat> great time of year. Awesome, awesome lower sack fishing. And another week, we'll have everything will be open and it'll kind of be a playground. You take your pick anywhere you want. Within to go. an hour of reading here, we're going to have a it's lot of really awesome. fun options. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to stay on them. We're going to stay mostly on the lower sack. We got a few upper sack days this week. Um, but we're really stoked for, for how the season's shaping up. It should be an excellent summer with all the water. A lot of happy fish, a lot of bugs. Yeah, man. Um, I think the last thing we have, um, our tight line clinic in June. Right, right. June 8th, we got Still a few, few more spots. spots. There, right? Yeah, right. So if you guys want to get out, we got a, a little video kind of highlighting some of the yeah. stuff we've been doing yeah, up there. Yeah, little, a little, little instructional video on some, some check naping stuff, part one. There'll be a second part. If you, you know, guys are interested shoot. in that yeah. stuff, uh, check it out. We'd love to to fill that one up and, and show. And that'll be, uh, that'll be up in Dunsmuir, right? On the upper yep, sack? on the yep. upper sack. Show you guys some really effective ways, not, not necessarily a guide trip, come out, learn how to get out there and, and do it on your own. Um, from rigging to, to application, we're gonna kind of break everything down and make you guys, make sure you're comfortable with getting out there and, and fishing those setups um, on your own. So that's gonna be a really cool event. Um, and I think that's most that's of it, man. It, yeah, yeah we're gonna check in for, in about uh, a week. This week, um, like always, guys, if you have any questions or anything, let us know. If you're coming, even if you're not coming fishing with us, if you're coming up to the area and 
need any information, give us a shout, shoot us an email. Yeah. Uh, we'd be happy to help Your you out. Your feedback's any valuable yeah. to us. We, we'd love to, to engage and, and give you guys our two cents. Absolutely. You know, we got, like Matt said, we got a playground up here within an hour of Reading. There's a ton of great fishing, especially this time of year. So drop us a line, give us a shout, comment below. Um, let us know what your thoughts are, and hopefully we'll see you guys on the water. Thanks for checking us right out, guys. guys. Hey, how was your fishing today, sir? How was your fishing? Oh, God, it was fantastic. It was great. It was great. I mean... <laughs>